In this mini video, we're going to have a look at how to do some event-driven programming in JavaScript. In particular, having JavaScript react to certain HTML events, such as a mouse click, or a mouse rolling over an element, or rolling out of it, or pressing a key. I'm going to demonstrate some of these events on this simple page here that has some text, a button, and an image. Essentially, what I want to do is be able to trigger a function if this button is clicked, and then trigger some different functions when the mouse rolls over the image and when the mouse rolls off of it. So let's start with this button. What I'm going to do is add an onClick event attribute to it. And inside this attribute, I'm going to write a function call that I want to occur the moment the button is clicked. Next, I just need to define the function. And in this case, what I want the function to do is change the contents of the button to a slightly different message. Notice that we're once again doing this using the getElementById method and inner HTML property. Okay, with that set up, when we click on the button, the gotClicked method is fired, and this changes the contents of the element from read more to I think that would be overdoing it. Now, when an event such as a click occurs, sometimes it's useful to know a little bit more context about it, such as where exactly the user clicked on the element. Conveniently, the browser provides information like this within a special event object. So let's write it to the console and see what's inside of it. Notice that the event has screen and client properties indicating the coordinates of where the user clicked relative to the screen and the window. These values can be extracted and used to tailor the script's behavior to the context of the event. But we don't really need that here. Next, I'd like to add some interactive behavior to this image. In particular, once the mouse cursor is moved onto the image, I'd like to trigger a function that changes the image to a cat. And then once the cursor is moved outside of the image, I'd like the dog to be returned. I'm going to achieve this using two event attributes, on mouse over and on mouse out. And I'm going to have two separate functions for handling these two events. As before, I'm going to make use of the getElementById method to identify the image element. But rather than use the inner HTML property, what I'm going to do is use the src, the source property instead, to directly change the file name to that of the cat and the dog, respectively. With that done, once I move the mouse over the image, I get Oh, and I leave the image, I get the dog. So at this point, we have the interactivity that we wanted, but we achieved it by writing JavaScript function calls within the HTML document itself. What I'm going to do now is show you how to get the same effects but in a way that properly separates the HTML and the JavaScript, leading to better separation of concerns. To achieve this, I'm first going to identify the image element and assign it to a variable. After that, I'm going to use the addEventListener method to attach some event handlers to that element that constantly monitor for mouse over and mouse out events calling the respective functions when they occur. Note that here the event name doesn't begin with on, and note that we only provide the function name. We don't use parentheses. This example, of course, has only shown a very small number of events. There are many, many more which you can explore using sites such as W3Schools. And that's it for this mini video. We've introduced event-driven programming in JavaScript in other words, reacting to HTML events such as mouse clicks. We've introduced the special event object that is created by the browser when an event occurs, allowing you to extract more context about what just happened. We looked at how we could use event attributes to trigger a JavaScript function call. And finally, we looked at how we could do the same thing using event handlers set up by this add event listener method, leading to better separation of concerns. See you next time.